All right, let's get it. <laughs> How did you do that, bro? Man, it's really, really how she pulled me, man. That's the question. Oh, man. Lord Jesus. Now you with Freddie. Now it's back. <laughs> now, yeah. now you listen, I'm going to tell you. I'm going to tell you. Organic story, man. So I'm, uh, I'm about, I just got to Houston. I probably have been to Houston seven months. Um, I was single at the time, you know, so I'm just living, being, being myself. And COVID had just hit. and But I had just went to Arizona, and one of my boys was like, hey, man, you got to check out this app, you know? And I'm like, Nah, I'll check it out. Like, what is it? It was called Raya at the time. So, um, basically, it's like a dating app, but you know, you have to go through certain like criteria to make sure that you're who you are. So, literally, you have been on the app for a couple of days, man, and it's like she pops up, and I'm like, mm, let me see who this is. Gymnastics. I ain't never, you know, I, I never really paid attention to gymnastics, so it, it, it piqued my curiosity, you know. So I'm like, okay, that's that's that's. A, I, I'll see what's up. I swiped her, and it said we match. So I'm just like, oh, okay. So I'm gonna see what's up. So I go do my workout. And I come back and I get like, I had some likes on my Instagram, you know, and I'm like, I'm like, oh, this might be it. I'm like, okay. So I see what's up and then I still waited. I'm like, man, I'm gonna wait. I'm gonna wait till I, you know, take a shower and everything. Then I come back to my phone and then she messages me on the app like, hey, you know what I mean? And I'm, man, that's a, man, this gotta be fake. Like, I don't know. Just, I didn't know who she was at the time, but. Like the first thing that I saw was that she just had a bunch of followers. So in my mind, I'm like, okay, she got to be good. If yeah. I promise you, I'm a, I'm a real life story. When she won the Olympics, I was in college and we didn't have NBC. We didn't have Olympic channels and we're in camp. We're in camp late, late, late July, early August. So I'm not paying attention to, you know, so I never would have had a moment to where I would have watched like, you know. Jonathan, I'm gonna let you finish your story, man. Continue. <laughs> <laughs> but like I was saying, man, she she messaged me. This is like a Tuesday, and we 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 were texting back and forth, and then we hung out Friday, man. And um, we couldn't do much as COVID happened, everything was shut down. So um, she came through down um, down to Houston. She lived in the suburbs, so she had to drive about forty five minutes to me. Um, then the rest is history, man. So so you was really the catch in. I always say we the men that catch, man. I always say we the catch, man. Yeah, so she really booked you. She did though. She is did, what you though. said. Cause I, I was fighting it. I was fighting it. So I was you, fighting it. So in truth, if I say this out loud, was well, Jonathan Owens ain't really want Simone Biles. Is and, what you're saying. <laughs> At the time <laughs> That's what you're not gonna say that. That's what you're saying. I was afraid I I was afraid to commit. I'm like, ah I'm Man, this my this my third year. You know, I'm trying to ah. I'm like, it's kind of <laughs> early, but you know, like I said, man, it happened when you least expect it. And we hung out, man. It was like we hit it off instantly. You know, we just laughed the whole night, man. Play, uh, look, go ahead. Go I really want to talk about football. What I want to say is yes, men should be the prize because in 23 and 24, if you're not the prize, it might not work. Mm. And you know why I say that? I say that because we come into these situations older, with more bodies. That that person is not our first love. That person is probably not our children's mother or father. And from personal experience, I've been the second choice. I've been that good guy. I was in a relationship with somebody, didn't really find out what it really was until maybe two years in and she was still in love with her ex-husband. So I've been that second place, just a good guy, not the number one. And I feel like you have to be the prize in these relationships because if, but if, if a man is not the prize, I don't think it's going to work. And see, I think that women don't understand that because with, because men usually do the chasing I don't know if women you know, will stay in a relationship when they feel like they're not his best choice. Women usually feel like I'm the best thing ever happened to them. <laughs> I mean, I guess when Vincent put it in, in the other perspective, I, I see it the other way too. Like, yeah. Uh, maybe, I, I don't know. I guess I'm looking at two perspectives. I think men and women are both the prize. Like, there's no above the other person or below. Like, that's just how I look at it. So I'm not about to stroke y'all men's ego today. Um, but secondly, not today. Not today. Like, I'm not. <laughs> I'm tired. Bruh. I could also see it from Vince's perspective because I've always felt like I'm the prize. Like, oh, well, if you lose me, you this is the best you probably going to, you know what I'm saying? And I would love to feel the opposite of having a man. And I'm like, let me try to keep you. 
You know what I'm saying? Like, if I lose you, like, I don't know what I would do. I haven't felt that. So I don't, I would love to feel that one day. But I get what you're saying, Vince, from that perspective. Okay. All right. All right. I hear that. I hear that. You want to say anything, Chloe? You good? Like, I miss the mm. days when a man saw the the innate value in a woman and women saw the innate value in men. And we valued each other. So the goal was to get with a man, you know, a good man. And and, and the goal was to get with a good woman. And that, and that was it. And we didn't overcomplicate it the way that we do now. Um, but I will have to say this. What also has changed is women don't show their innate value as much as they used to. Um, the things that women believe are valuable now about them has changed. Um, and those things are not innate. Right. Like mm -hmm. those things are um, what actually are uh, fringe benefits like they're they're beneficial, but they're not innate. Like a, a woman does have innate value if she is prioritizing the things that are just naturally valuable about her. And we've gotten away from women doing that. And so, you know, men now, because this is what, as women, we lead with these things that are not actually naturally what, what's most valuable about us. Now men are like, well, what about the other things? Um, and I think that now men are, are not seeing or the innate value because we as women don't value those things about ourselves. And I think it's it's a cycle. And so now we're caught up in this cycle and we, we can't get ourselves out of it. So now we have a man that's saying, well,